OK, then, time to turn our attention to Matlock Town Football Club in the MPL Premier Division. And I'm uh, delighted to say that we're joined for an exclusive interview uh, for the first time on the show uh, by Matlock Town striker Scott Bowden. Uh, Scott, first of all, how are you today? Uh, very good, Matthew. Thank you, mate. How are you? Yeah, yeah, very well, thank you. Very well indeed. Uh, so, yeah, great That's to have good. you on the show. I know we've been <laughs> trying for a little while to uh, get you landed on the show. I know you've been very, very busy, so thanks very much for coming on. Uh, first of all, Scott, just um, how how easy or maybe how hard a decision was it to uh, to join the Gladiators? Because I know you joined around about two weeks ago now. Uh, how how easy was the decision to come over to Matt Lockdown? Um, fairly easy in the end, to be honest. Um, at my last club, I kind of mutually agreed to part ways just before Christmas. Um, kind of made a bit of a, a pact with my wife to have Christmas and New Year at home. Um, because it's the first one I've probably ever had it. Well, it is the first one I've ever had at home. So I had a good Christmas and New Year with the family. Um, and then it was always my intention after New Year to, um, to sign, sign obviously somewhere and, um, get, get my, kind of football going again to be honest um um so yeah it was i spoke to obviously the manager martin um briefly i don't know if it was just before or he might have just rang me just after new year um and after speaking to him to be fair it was uh, a pretty straightforward decision yeah to be honest okay great stuff and uh, is it frustrating that you've still not been able to sort of like fully get going yet for the beginning of your Matlock career because I think Matlock are on now three postponed games in a row has it been a bit frustrating <laughs> you start for the club yeah it has um but I guess if you look at it kind of the glass off full side of it I've managed to get to know the lads a bit more um train with them a bit more and understand what they're about they can understand what I'm about so um that little bit of a a little bit of a break, if you want to call it that, from games has, has helped me kind of bed in a bit, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, what do you sort of, because I know obviously for anyone that follows the show or just follows their local non-league football uh, regularly, of course, uh, Johnny Margaret's has scored the vast portion yeah. of Matt Lock Town's goals this season. He had an incredible record and he's actually yeah. left. He recently departed to go to uh, Kings Lynn Town one level above. Obviously, yeah. now that means that the goals have got to start being shared around a lot more. Do you sort of relish, I guess, that bigger responsibility, knowing that you're probably going to be like the, you know, the first choice centre forward for Matt Lock? Do you sort of relish maybe that bigger role that you've now got to play at the club? Um, yeah, uh, I felt up throughout my career that I've, I've always chipped in with goals as well. Anyway, so um, obviously as a strike, that's kind of what you. You're there, I guess, primarily to do as well. Um, so I backed myself to score goals. Um, and from what I've seen from the the team in that one game we played um, at Atherton and then in training, we, we we are good going forward and create things. So obviously that's why Marg's got, uh, got the amount of goals he did here. Um, and like I say, hopefully like I can chip in. I think there's is there roughly about 20 games left, just, yeah. just short 20 games. Um, so obviously, hopefully, I can chip in with goals, and hopefully, a few other lads can chip in, and um, it kind of balances the the books, if you like. But uh, just on that, obviously, I want to wish Margs the best as well. What I saw of him in that that one game and in training, he were he deserves uh, he deserves another crack at the full time. Yeah, yeah, fantastic stuff. And uh, have you got any sort of? Uh, obviously, I know the team target was obviously at the start of the season was to finish in the top five in the playoffs. Obviously, that's going to be a big challenge now because, of course, you've had a few points chalked off after Mask United uh, had to resign from the league. So I think that was six points that was taken off as well. So it's seen the Gladiators move into the bottom half. But do you have any personal targets for yourself as a striker? Do you always have like a, a target of goals that you want to have secured by the end of the season? Uh, yeah, generally. Um, obviously, it's a lot different for me because I've only kind of just come into the the setup. So speaking from pre season, I didn't really know what the club's aspirations were. I'll be honest. Um, the aspirations when I first initially spoke to the club, uh, well, only two weeks ago, three weeks ago, it was we want to be in the playoffs. Um, obviously, I didn't really understand all the mask stuff before I came, um, and I didn't really know the implications until until I'd signed anyway. Um, but Look, my my aim is 
always to finish as high as possible and I'm sure the clubs is the same. Um, so we'll be aiming aiming for the playoffs. I, I'm, I'm sure we still will be. And, and personally, it's, um, it's like I kind of touched on, it's got goals uh, are something obviously every striker wants and hopefully I can uh, I can put a few more in the net from uh, from now to the end of the season. Yeah, and uh, you're certainly well known uh, in the North Derbs region. Of course, uh, previously you've had stints at Chesterfield. I've seen you in person there. And uh, I've seen you, of course, uh, for Buxton as well. But just for any listeners that might not have seen you play before, they've heard of you but not seen you play, what 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 kind of play would you describe yourself as? What what are your strengths on the pitch uh, in the final third? Uh, a lot of a lot of managers have always described me, I guess, as um, a box player. Um, John Sheridan always used to kind of compare me to like a, a Jack Lester fox in the box type player. <laughs> um, She's never a bad comparison, <laughs> but <laughs> just saying we didn't emulate his career. But um, but yeah, that's probably um, a clever player in and around the box. And I've had to adapt probably over the last, well, probably for two or three, four years. Um, obviously, age has become a bit of a factor at times. But um, yeah, I'd like to think I'm, I'm a bright, um, still relatively sharp, um, but definitely like an intelligent player around the box, yeah. OK, and uh, just finally, looking ahead to Matlock's next game. So, uh, at home, uh, at the Proctor Carl Stadium, and it's against uh, FC United of Manchester, who are below Matlock at the moment. They've had, uh, I guess, a pretty disappointing season by their standards. Uh, Matlock have had uh, a decent run uh, this season at the moment at home. Um, what what kind of game is in store for you there? Because I get the feeling, no matter where FC United are in the league, they do have a lot of backing. It's always a pretty difficult game against them. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Matt. It's obviously a, a, a new thing for me. Um, but I'll be expecting numbers to turn up at the ground and I'll be expecting a good atmosphere. So, um, if anything, hopefully that spurs us on to to um, to a good positive result and um, good positive performance. And like I say, it's, uh, every game matters from now to the end of the season. And there's probably a little mini league of teams, if you like, um, in and around us. Um, all fighting for the same thing as well. So um, it starts Saturday and, and then we go again uh, the following game after that. Yeah, like uh, Martin Crothers has said before, Matlock Town do tend to raise their game when uh, they do play against a team that also has very good support and brings a big away following. So hopefully uh, that will continue for the Gladiators uh, this coming weekend on Saturday. So uh, thanks for your time, Scott. It's much appreciated because I know uh, you've been very, very busy in the last few days. So thanks very much for your time. Hopefully we'll speak to you again a bit later on in the season. And uh, yeah, best of luck for uh, Saturday against FC United. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, Matt. Nice to speak to you, mate.